Gateway National Recreation Area covers part of New York and New Jersey and has a subunit named the Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge. At the end of the refuge is Dead Horse Bay, and at the end of Dead Horse Bay is a beach named Bottle Beach. Today I took out my Hasselblad 500C with the 50mm lens on it. So this area that we're going to, Bottle Beach, is closed off. We will talk more about that later. The name is literal. Old bottles are strewn along the beach. When the waves come to shore, there is a quaint clackety clack. How did all those bottles get there? Though Dead Horse Bay is now a protected portion of a national park system, it wasn't always that way. Dead Horse gets its name from exactly that, Dead Horses. From the 1850s up to the 1930s, the shoreline was home to a multitude of horse rendering factories. When the factories finished the horse rendering process, the remains of the bones were dumped straight into the bay. Along with the horse rendering plants, there was fish oil factories and garbage incinerators. Spoil alert, it did not smell so good out that way. At the time of this industrial activity, the factories were located on a tiny island named Barren Island with a population of 2,000 people. For a long time, New York City dumped its trash on Barren Island. Barren Island was its own self-contained community and had a one-room schoolhouse, four saloons, and five factories boiling garbage all day, every day. The buildings and island inhabitants, mostly immigrant Irish, but also some black families, sat atop the constantly burning waste. The population of Barren Island rarely left their trash island. From 1850 to the final eviction of the community in 1936, Barren Island accepted waste from Manhattan, Brooklyn, and the Bronx, and all the dead animals in the horse-powered city, which were boiled down into usable parts. During wartime, the island factories were a major source of supplies for the nation. In 1936, infamous urban planner Robert Moses evicted the entire island population to make way for Marine Park Bridge. The cottages and remaining infrastructure were bulldozed to the ground. In the 1950s, the city of New York filled in the south end of the park with mounds of garbage from Queens and Brooklyn. This garbage was compacted and covered with two feet of sand. Barren Island was no more, as it was now connected to the mainland. Of course, nature finds a way. Over time, that two-foot sand frosting started to erode away, revealing the 25-foot tall pile of trash. As the sand recedes, treasure in the form of glass bottles and other enduring artifacts surface. People love to collect this type of historic trash. An individual who is not enamored with these collectors is Howard Warren, a New York City school teacher and a neo-archaeologist. Mr. Warren calls these scavengers poachers. Angered at their willful erosion of a historic site, he says, quote, We want to remind people that taking items from Dead Horse Bay, a.k.a. Barren Island, a.k.a. Bottle Beach, is not only against the law, but also detrimental to the future cultural and historical research." End quote. However, these poachers have bigger things to worry about than Mr. Warren. One can rarely dig into another person's trash and not pick up their toxicity. Concerned that people were rummaging through the garbage from years past, the National Park Service did some studies and discovered that the area tested positive for radioactivity. There's likely multiple sources of this contamination. But one could be that back in the day, to keep sailors from falling off the edge of their vessels at nighttime, ship decks had markers that glowed in the dark. And by glow-in-the-dark markers, I mean radium-226, picked up from their local radio shack, no doubt. 
The National Park Service believes that this contamination could go as deep as two feet into the soil. Out of caution, the National Park Service has closed down 84 acres as they conduct further tests. Some say that it's not that dangerous and want to continue the treasure hunt. Many are afraid that the National Park Service will clean the beach and that its charming bottle-clinking shoreline will be cleaned up out of existence. <laughs>